welcome to another video of tally tutorials today's video is all about assigning ledgers into predefined groups in tally from a transaction we need to identify the ledgers and we need to assign that ledgers into predefined groups in tally in this video i am going to explain 30 different transactions and we are going to identify the ledgers in that transaction and how we can assign these ledgers into different groups in tally let's begin so assigning ledgers into groups this is our first transaction John started business with cash rupees 10 lakh here two aspects should be identified debit aspect and credit aspect that represents the ledgers in this transaction so the first aspect is definitely cash and second aspect should be the capital so the first aspect is cash account and the second aspect is capital because start business with cash that represent the capital so next step we need to assign these ledgers into predefined available groups in tally so cash account goes to a predefined group called cash in hand so cash should be related to cash in hand and capital it is very precise that capital should be in a capital group the name of that ledger and group are same so two ledgers cash account and capital account we assign cash account into cash in hand and the capital account into capital group so move to next ledger open bank account with city bank for rupees 4 lakh so we deposit 4 lakh rupee into city bank so here two accounts are there first cash outgoing concept and we increase the bank balance so two accounts cash account and city bank account get it so cash account we have already discussed cash in hand so city bank is very clear it is bank group bank group so two aspect cash account and city bank account cash account relates to cash in hand and a bank account or city bank account relates to bank account now move to the transaction both furniture definitely outgoing aspect is cash inflow aspect is furniture so definitely two aspect that is cash account and inflow aspect furniture account so cash account is already discussed that is cash in hand furniture is considered as an asset to an organization that's why you can see this in balance sheet so definitely it is a fixed asset very clear furniture account fixed asset now move to the next transaction goods purchased rupees 1 lakh 50 thousand so two aspects should be there what is outgoing aspect is definitely cash and incoming aspect is goods that is purchased so purchase account and cash account cash account is already discussed that is cash in hand purchase account is relates to a separate group called purchase that is purchase group so cash in hand and purchase group now the next transaction stationary purchase rupees 7500 here outflow aspect is cash inflow aspect is stationary to the organization so two aspect is there cash account and stationary account cash account is related to cash in hand and stationary account related to a fresh group that is indirect expense stationary account is related to indirect expense so it will go to pnl account okay so next transaction sold goods for cash rupees 8000 so to aspect clear outgoing concept is goods inflow is cash so cash and sales here two aspect cash and sales account K 
cash belongs to cash in hand and sales belongs to a separate group a sole group for sales that is sales group now the next transaction paid carriage here outflow, outflow aspect is cash that is for the benefit is for carriage so two aspect cash and carriage the first aspect is cash the second aspect is carriage so cash belongs to cash in hand and carriage belongs to a fresh group that is direct expense so carriage is a direct expense group so next is sold goods to george rupees 2500 here there is no cash flow is there because here the sales is a credit sales so two aspects should be there is no transaction of cash here so definitely instead of cash we replace it with george and sales should be as it is so two aspect that is george and sales so george and sales george belongs to sundry debtor and sales belongs to sales so george is sundry debtor because he owes some money to us so he is a sundry debtor and sales as it is sales group now paid wages for rupees 1250 so cash and wages to aspect where do you see cash is cash and wages cash belongs to cash in hand wages belongs to direct expense so carriage and wages belongs to direct expense so goods purchased on credit from mtl company limited here the purchase on credit because there is no cash transaction so there is no cash flow is there so two aspects should be instead of cash replace with a personal account that is mtl company limited and purchase so mtl company account and purchase account mtl company is a sundry creditor because we owe some money to mtl company limited because because we are purchase the goods so, so owe some money to mtl company limited and purchase we have already discussed purchase belongs to purchase group the next transaction is insurance premium paid by check so here outflow aspect is cash but by check it represented by the city bank and what the benefit is insurance so expense insurance premium paid by check two aspect is bank that is city bank and insurance premium account city banks belongs to bank group insurance premium belongs to indirect expense group okay the next is paid advertisement expense for rupees 15000 there is outflow of cash will be there that is cash and advertisement expense is an indirect expense so you can see cash and advertisement expense so here cash belongs to cash in hand and uh, advertisement belongs to indirect expense so next withdraw cash from bank for office use so office use is not considered because any amount withdraw from the bank for office use is just treated as withdraw cash so two aspect will be there reduction aspect and increase aspect so the cash account will increase and the bank account will decrease so increase the cash decrease the bank account two aspect is cash and bank so cash will increase and the bank account will decrease so two aspect is handled like this so the cash belongs to cash in hand and uh, city bank belongs to bank the next transaction cash of rupees 2500 received from george so george is a sundry debtor he paid the full amount of his purchase credit purchase so two aspect should be george and inflow aspect is cash so cash account and george account cash account is cash in hand george account already discussed sundry debtor <clears throat> he paid all the amount so sundry debtor will be cancelled now onwards he is not a debtor so next transaction commission received so it is a inflow of cash in the name of commission so two aspect inflow aspect cash in what form it receives that is in form of commission so two aspect cash and commission so cash account and commission received account so cash is cash in hand 
commission received is an indirect income it can see it in pnl account so move to next transaction payment made to mtl company limited for rupees 23000 outflow of cash because mtl company limited is a sundry creditor we purchase some goods from mtl company limited so we have to pay 23000 to mtl company limited so outflow is cash and we cancel that creditor that is mtl company limited so two aspect is cash and mtl company limited cash is cash in hand mtl company is a sundry creditor so move to next bought machinery for rupees 60000 and issued check for the same so here we bought the machinery for 60000 and uh, instead of paying cash we issue check automatically bank account will reduce and we bought the machinery so two aspect bank city bank and machinery city bank account and machinery account city bank should be under bank and the machinery should be under fixed asset move to next withdraw from bank for personal use you see here the withdrawal is on personal use not for office use so if you are withdrawing something for personal use in accounting it is treated as drawings it's a personal drawings so here two aspects should be one definitely bank because we need to reduce the amount in bank and we convert that received amount into drawings so two aspect is that city bank account and drawings city bank belongs to bank account in drawings tally under the group of capital all drawings should be under capital all cash drawings okay so next is interest on deposit credited to bank account rupees 3200 so here the interest bank credited to bank that that means we are not receive the amount of interest on deposit but the bank directly deposit that amount into our bank account so automatically bank account increased so interest on deposit and city bank account two aspect city bank account and interest on deposit account city bank account belongs to bank group and interest on deposit account related to indirect income it's a indirect income so next is cash sales symbol to aspect cash account and sales account cash belongs to cash in hand and sales belong to sales so purchase goods from crl company limited for 2 lakh here it's a credit purchase so crl company limited should be some creditor and a purchase account is the other aspect so crl company limited then purchase account crl company limited is sundry creditor and purchase account belongs to purchase we move to next that is sold goods to savior for rupees 35000 it's a credit sales so instead of cash we are replacing it with a personal account that is savior so savior account and sales account savior accounts belongs to sundry debtor because he owes money to us and sales belongs to sales now goods returned from savior for rupees 5000 we have already sold goods to savior so due to some damage or other things savior returned a goods amounting rupees 5000 here two aspect need to consider is first one is saver account definitely saver account because we need to reduce the amount by 5000 so saver account the next is sales return so saver account is we have already created sundry debtor and sales return belongs to sales so all sales return account belongs to sales next goods return to crl company limited we have already purchased some goods from crl company limited due to damage or other things we returned a goods amounting rupees 8000 to crl definitely two aspects should be crl and purchase return because we are returned the good that we are purchased so two aspects should be crl company limited and a purchase return crl we have already created some creditor and a purchase return should be under purchase sales return under sales 
and purchase return under purchase next is paid commission very easy cash and commission paid cash should be cash in hand commission should be indirect expense next is paid rent two aspect cash and rent paid cash is cash in hand rent paid is indirect expense next is paid electricity charge by check here instead of paying cash we are paying check so bank balance should be reduced to aspect electricity charges and bank so city bank account and electricity charges here city bank under bank group electricity charges is indirect expense so next paid telephone charge again the same cash and telephone charge so cash belongs to cash in hand Ele telephone charge is an indirect expense group next is paid check to crl company limited for rupees 1 lakh here we paid the check so bank balance should reduce and the sundry creditor of crl should be reduced so city bank account because we paid by check and paid to whom that is crl company limited city bank belongs to bank and crl limited to sundry creditor so these are the transactions we have discussed more than 25 transactions and i hope you can understand what is the procedure that you need to generate from a transaction for the process in tally so this is a prime step this is very important because we just divide the transaction into ledgers and assign that ledgers into different groups this is a prime step that we are going to do before entering into tally so you just go through different transaction like this and try to create and try to form ledgers included in that transaction and assign that transaction into different groups so in the description section below i have already given a link a pdf file just download that in that file i have already given more than 100 ledgers and its corresponding groups so download that pdf file and go through that you can cover almost all ledgers and its corresponding groups so i hope you enjoy this video so see you on next video in the next video we are going to create this ledger in tally and assign the ledger into corresponding groups okay see you on next video thank you